Hi, this is Dr. Dee Pasquale, and today I'm here to talk about filler. You know, over the years, filler has just gained so much popularity because it's such a great way to enhance volume loss in the face. For example, it could be used in the cheek area, it could be used in the nasal labial fold, it can be used to enhance lip volume, and actually the hollowness under the eyes. But despite all the wonderful things that filler can do, almost every patient that comes to my office for a filler consult will ask the same five questions because those are the things that they're really afraid of. I would say number one on the list is that they are afraid of looking overdone. So people will come in and say, oh my God, I really want filler to address this problem, but I am so afraid of looking like those crazy celebrities. And the bottom line is you need to know that the overdone comes from overinjection of too much filler. So you need to find a doctor that's going to listen to you and listen to what kind of results you're looking for. And you can actually have less of a volume injected with the knowledge that you can easily add more and it's much, much harder to take it away. So that addresses that first big concern. The second one is, how long will it take me to see results? And people sometimes come in and they think that once they have filler done, it's gonna take a few weeks for them to see the results. And each and every time, they're just so amazed when they see improvements right before their eyes, and they're ecstatic. The third one is bruising. People always think that they're gonna bruise for a prolonged period of time, and that's really not necessarily the case. The bruising really depends on you. If you tend to bruise a lot during any procedure, that may be a possibility. But I have to say, most people who come in do not bruise for more than a few days, and most of that bruising is really easily concealed with a good concealer. So that's important to know. Now, some patients maybe who are on blood thinners or aspirin, if they can't stop those medications may not really be the best candidate for filler. And also remember, the older you get, the thinner your skin gets, and that makes bruising a little bit more of a possibility also. Now, downtime is the other really, really big concern that people ask me. Oh my God, am I going to be out of work for like a week? And, and the answer is really no. You can really cover up most of the things that happen with filler. Granted, you, you might be a little swollen, but usually that's for the first 24 to 48 hours. And usually after that, it's not very noticeable and much, much easier to hide with makeup. And then last but not least, people really think that filler is something that's unaffordable, something that only movie stars and famous people get, and that's not the case anymore. Filler is very, very affordable. We have people who are in middle-class working environments who can afford filler, and also most practices will offer things like care credit to make things much more easily affordable. So this is Dr. Dee Pasquale. I hope this answers the big five fears that people have about fillers. And also, if you have any other questions, feel free to give the office a call. Our phone number is 904-461-6060, and somebody will be happy to help you out. This is Dr. Dee Pasquale. Thanks for watching.